Hey guys, welcome back. So if you haven't seen the previous episode where I delve a little bit deeper into different mobility methods and how you can approach it, check out the last episode because we are moving on how to transfer this into your own training. So we are going to focus on front bends. So forward bends, compressing your body, but we're going to focus on it in a strengthening aspect. So what I like to suggest when you're doing your own mobility programming is to first focus on the shortening side. So for your forward bend, you are hinged at the hips and coming down. So how are we going to do that actively? I would suggest toes to bar. So you're hanging on a bar and you're going to be having the legs locked, shortening your hip flexors, your core, your strengthening as well as your quads trying to get your toes up towards the bar. It's mimicking a, fro a forward bend, sorry, but in an active strengthening way. So here's the video for that. So for toes to bar, you wanna keep your legs locked, toes pointed, and if you're not able to go as high as this, go as high as you possibly can, keeping the correct form. The reason why we start with the anterior chain is because we are, getting our body to know what we want from it. So brain to muscle connection. So you always start with the shortening side, get those muscles fired up, and then you can move to the opposite side, which would be the lengthening muscles. So here's another method. This is also work in the same areas as the toes to bar, because I'm shortening my hip flexors, strengthening my core and my quads. What I'm doing here is a method called moils, so maximum overcoming isometric lifts. What I'm doing here is driving my legs up into the weights. I then remove the weight and then follow it with some lifts and a final hold. Since we've now worked on the shortening side, we are going to move on to strengthening the lengthen side. So I'm gonna insert two videos, one being a regression and the second one being a progression that you can move on to after this. So what I'm doing here is calf raises, but from my toes, this is the regressed version. What we're doing here is working the Achilles tendon, which is a tough band of fibrous tissue that connects the calf muscle to the heel bone. Here is the progression of the movement. As you can see, I've adjusted it just by having my toes up onto a ledge where I can have a deficit in my heels to increase the posterior chain strengthening method of which I'm working on. So I've shared four drills, two for the shortening side, two for the lengthening side. All you have to do is pick what drill is suitable for your current strength and mobility level, pair it up so the shortening with the lengthening together and you've got yourself a solid superset drill. It's not something I'd recommend for you to do every single day, maybe once or twice, because recovery is everything when it comes to mobility. And this is something that I'll get onto in a further episode. It's a very important subject of how to program and how much rest to have. So I hope this has helped you put together a little training session for your forward bend. If you have any requests on what else you would like to know more about, please pop it in the comments below.